向每一位爱家的职工、每一个台湾伟大的人民来致谢。November 24th in Taiwan, the results are out for the local elections and referendums. The Coalition for the Happiness of Our Next Generation proposed three pro-family referendums, and after 11 months of hard work, each proposal exceeded the mark of 5 million yes votes, showing that protecting traditional family values is the mainstream opinion in Taiwan. This is the first referendum on same-sex marriage in Asia, with three pro-family proposals and two proposals advocating for marriage equality. The results garnered worldwide attention. According to the Central Election Commission, Proposal 10 received 7,650,000 yes votes, Proposal 11 received 7,080,000 yes votes, and Proposal 12 received 6,400,000 yes votes. On the other hand, Proposals 14 and 15, which advocated same-sex marriage, did not receive the required votes to pass. The results make it evident Taiwanese people still considered marriage to be between a man and a woman, and children in elementary and junior high schools should not receive age-inappropriate gender equality and LGBT education. And Proposal 12 made provisions for a separate law protecting the rights of same-sex couples. These referendum results have a profound significance for the stability of Taiwanese society and families. We will Yongsuikwa 呃，这是一个学习爱的一个很好的机会了。我觉得就活在台湾，其实真的很多议题常常会有很多的拉扯，那很多的撕裂。那我觉得这是公投的过程呢，就是大家可以有更多的机会，啊，把这个聚焦，然后讨论问题，那用理性沟通的方式，把把这些问题把它澄清。那我觉得对整个台湾的民主是很有帮助的。For the past five years, marriage equality has been hotly debated in Taiwan, with the proposed amendment of Line 972 of the Civil Law legalizing same-sex marriage being the most divisive issue. To preserve marriage between a man and a woman, guardians of family values are making history. September 2013, the Interfaith Family Guardian Coalition holds a press conference opposing the same-sex marriage amendment. November 2013, 300,000 people march under the slogan, Silent No More, Marriage is between a man and a woman, one husband and wife. Same-sex marriage bill is introduced in Legislative Yuan and goes to the Judiciary Committee. 20,000 protesters surround Legislative Yuan. 300 pastors present petitions objecting attempts to rush the bill. 150,000 people marched to protect family values and to protest the few legislators trying to force same-sex marriage amendment. As the Legislative Yuan reviews the same-sex marriage bill, thousands gather outside calling for a halt and a referendum, but without results. Demonstrators then march to the office of the president in protest. The president meets with the delegation of pastors to discuss same-sex marriage issues. The Judicial Yuan concludes the law fails to provide equal marriage rights for same-sex couples, violating the Constitution. Mr. Yi Xiongling proposes to amend the law, lowering the bar for referendums, which passes the Legislative Yuan. Coalition for the Happiness of Our Next Generation submits three referendum proposals. Churches mobilize the first 40-day fast to pray for Taiwan. The Central Election Commission reviews and accepts the three referendum proposals. Across all denominations, churches mobilize for the referendum. The Happiness Coalition mobilizes thousands of volunteers to collect signatures. Churches mobilize a second worldwide 40-day fast. The Happiness Coalition submits a total of 1,980,000 signatures for the three referendum proposals. Churches mobilize a third time to pray for Taiwan for 100 days. Nationwide, tens of thousands of volunteers promote the referendum in the streets. Ahead of upcoming elections, thousands of churches across Taiwan mobilize to protect the values of marriage and families, and to spread the word everywhere. The passing of the pro-family referendums is a process of learning to love. Starting now, Taiwanese society must work toward more tolerance, respect, and dialogue between different beliefs. 
The Coalition for the Happiness of Our Next Generation submitted three referendum proposals in early 2018. On November 24th, the people of Taiwan voted on the proposals as part of local elections. For Taiwanese churches, the referendum is not only civic participation, but also the switch that activated interdenominational unity. Uniting in prayer during the proposal stage, cooperating to collect signatures, and rallying together before elections, churches in different regions of Taiwan have united to defend marriage between a man and a woman. Northern Taiwan is an important urban center. Churches saw the urgent but difficult task of promoting the referendum and sprang into action, building consensus at joint prayer meetings, uniting together, and laying the foundation for a dialogue with society. Shulin 我们都觉得我们只能说这是神的工作。Churches in Central Taiwan are well connected. Large churches actively send hundreds of teams to partner with rural churches to promote the referendum at election rallies, expanding their influence. 因为台中教会界的连结本来就已经有一定的历史背景跟程度，当我们有一个重要的讯息传递的时候，其实很多教会都会一起投入啊，只是教会有大有小，我们就很难期待每一个教会滴水不漏的扫遍他所有的邻里